In this world, is the destiny of mankind controlled by some transcendental entity or law? Is it like the hand of God hovering above? At least it is true that man has no control, even over his own will. Because I want you to join me, Guts. Treating me as some kind of friend after you stabbed me! What do you want, then? Well, that's simple. To settle this with swords! As you wish. I rather enjoy settling things by force. Griffith! No matter what, I will have what I want. I've had enough of this bullshit. You make me sick! He's something else. I know I could split steel with this sword, but he easily evades each blow and just uses one arm to handle his narrow blade. He is good. We could always suspend this duel until you've recovered completely, if you'd rather. Shut up! Uh, 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 I win. I must defeat him. Faster! Stronger! Come on! That brat is at it again! Kill him, Griffith! Corcus, stay back! What? Griffith said not to interfere. Don't be foolish. It's him or Griffith. When did you become the leader, Corcus? Griffith's orders are absolute, so settle down. <laughs> He's mine. I enjoy the way you fight, my friend. You'd go to any length to defeat me. But now you can't wield your sword unless I move. I wouldn't mind if you'd rather postpone this. <laughs> you know, you talk too much. Let me tell you something. In battle, there's only one way you should be using your mouth! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
seen Griffith get knocked down like that. So, how do you like the taste of your own blood? <sighs> you struck a sound blow. But this, I'm afraid, is the end. Ah! Yes! Now then, my friend, you have a choice. Admit defeat, or I'll be forced to dislocate your shoulder. Either way makes no difference to me. Now choose. You bastard. And so, now you belong to me, Guts. Do you mean it? From now on, he's a member of the Hawks. Yeah! Yeah! This is strange. Griffith has never been so interested or complimentary. Not to anyone. Others have dubbed the Hawks death on the battlefield, since they are seemingly invincible in battle. We need not worry about ourselves, since they are under the auspices of the Midland Army. Besides, a mercenary band is disposable. I doubt that. What if they gain power and earn the King's confidence? We would face the loss of prestige, our honor and pride. Indeed. Hmm, most irritating. I lost. I was beaten completely. It's almost a joke. He talks openly and smiles like some innocent kid. But he dislocated my shoulder joint cleanly without hesitation. Just like plucking off a doll's arm. Damn it! Who the hell is he? <gasps> Are you serious about killing him, Corcus? Don't you even think about chickening out now. There are seven of us that want this sorted out. You told me you didn't like him either. Don't forget, that kid killed Dan. Yeah, but he's so strong and skilled and mean. Besides that, didn't Griffith say? Don't worry, look. The boy is asleep and alone. Plus, he's injured and can't possibly lift that sword. Then we'll convince Griffith the kid ran off or something after we dump his body in the woods. This bunch of idiots should be no problem, compared to him. Sam, you go first. Why me? You never go first. You better not do uh. it. Casca. He is still far beyond your skill level, even in his current condition. I think I'll take my chances. Go back to your tent like a good boy, Corcus. Casca, why do you want to save him? I see what's going on here. You lay down beside him for the past two nights. No wonder you have feelings for him. <laughs> If you say anything like that ever again, I'll chop your head off. Hey, I was kidding. Calm down. Come on, let's go. Well, it looks like I owe you double now. I should at least thank you. I didn't do it for you. I was just acting on Griffith's orders. Otherwise, I don't give a damn about you. I hope you drop dead in battle. And soon.
On the hill, our opponents have their headquarters manned by approximately 2,000 soldiers. Our mission is to burn the provisions and other supplies stored behind the hill. Theoretically, the enemy will mass their troops in front of the hill in case of a night attack. This is my strategy. We'll march through the river and attempt a surprise attack from their rear. Once there, we'll pick the shortest distance back to the castle gate and run through the midst of their forces in a single dash. Through the middle? Any reinforcements? No. Those that hired us cannot afford to lose any more resources. Cause they're all a bunch of cowards! <laughs> <laughs> the rear guard for tonight will be guts if you accept. Huh? Oh, so I I You'll have to help all your fellow soldiers escape while containing hundreds of enemy cavalrymen on a straight road through the woods. Can you manage it? Is that an order? It is. Is Griffith trying to test him? Poor guy. I doubt he'll make it through in one piece. Maybe he'll just sneak off. No. Griffith wouldn't give him such an important position just as a test. He truly believes in him. <laughs> now I don't have to worry about killing him. Marching through the river rather than going alongside it. Either way, it's unlikely the enemy will be able to predict this. Launching a surprise attack by traveling up such a rapid stream. Besides, this gale will easily drown out the noise of our march. Then we set fire from the windward side when we attack from behind. Every element has been pre-calculated in his mind. It's freezing out here. It must be my lot in life. How did I end up with guard duty on such a creepy night? I want to go home. <laughs> been part of such an efficient raid before. <laughs> now it's my turn. Follow me. 
Come on, keep up! Oh, yeah. That was good. Yeah. Fine work, Griffith. That will halt their efforts for at least a month. The battle is not yet over. Excuse me. Of all of what insolence! What are our losses? Nothing serious. Excellent. It's thanks to Guts. You should have seen him take on a group of heavy cavalry single-handedly. Even though it was on a straight road through the woods. Boy, is he something. Huh? Ricket! Where's Guts? He sent me back without him. Oh no, I hope he's still alive. Mounted. Hang on. We're almost to the end of the woods. This is it. Disperse! No! At any rate, it was amazing the way Guts fought tonight. Just as Griffith expected, he's gonna make a great addition. Mm-hmm. By the way, has anyone seen Guts around? Huh? Despite his age, Griffith has the qualities of a great leader. His people believe in him completely. He's got perfect judgment and knows how to take decisive action in the heat of battle. He's more than just the leader of a mercenary band. Hey, Guts! What are you doing up here? Gossiping with the birds? <laughs> Thank you for your help during the battle. I only just made it because of you. I'm Ricket. I really admire you. I've never seen someone who is such an amazing fighter. Except, of course, for Griffith. I've done nothing more than my duty. I have no reason to be thanked. Same thing goes for you. Well, I won't argue with you about that. Anyhow, come on, follow us. A party isn't as lively without its hero. Huh? The celebration you may have been hearing down there is in honor of you. I... wait. I never asked for anything like that. Uh, 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 what are you doing?! Oh, Put me down! Ah! Oh. Let's go. Let me go! <laughs> Put me down now, you thick-headed bastard! I am Pippin. <laughs> Don't ever! Don't Everyone a toast to our brash new friend!
<laughs> I've got to hand it to you. You're one of the best guys we've ever had. You cut off the enemy's attack all by yourself, even though we were outnumbered. Griffith was right about you. Welcome aboard. <laughs> you're out of your mind. But I feel better knowing that you're with us. Come on, then. Let's drink. In this world, there is a time one is forever unable to retrieve. In pursuit of forgiveness, one is destined to atone by living through agony and letting time slip away. The sorrow in the furthest reaches of one's memory, the sorrow just beyond one's memory. Which is more heartbreaking? <laughs> 